Rawcliffe School is a state school on the outskirts of Exeter in Devon and it takes pupils from the age of 4 to 11, it's a primary school, it takes children of all backgrounds and capabilities. We're a very inclusive school so we have lots of children in the school that might have emotional or behavioural difficulties, been excluded from other schools, through to academically very bright and capable children, whatever size, shape, colour, we include them and try to meet their individual needs. The vision, which I think is most important, is that which drives us towards some agreed end. Certainly, I think it starts with a question. Would we wish our schools, our futures, our students' futures, to go forward so still attached to a bygone age? We need a curriculum that is appropriate for this, certainly this decade, if not beyond. And we also need to teach the children the skills that this decade will demand of them. Schools have a very significant role to play in the development of human capital and it forms a key element within a school's curriculum. And the aspects that we're looking at are inquiring minds, the ability to think, so it's beyond the three R's, it's no longer reading, writing, arithmetic. It's reading, writing, arithmetic and most importantly, reasoning. The students will need to be highly communicative, highly creative, socially adept, empathetic. They will need to be able to work collaboratively, certainly within teams, no doubt across national boundaries. And the curriculum is to not just reflect that, but is to most definitely engage with that and to use the means that are appropriate to the age that we live in that will heighten and engage the student and the teacher for both to be successful. The development of the IT in the school has been driven very much by the strong vision and strong leadership within the school and the financial input and everything has come from within the school. I think if it hadn't been that, we probably wouldn't have achieved what we have achieved so far. We wanted to create an environment that was going to be media rich very stimulating in both visual and sound where there was a lot of IT access so as a result we have designed and developed the infrastructure and the classrooms in the buildings we've got. In fact the lecture theatre that we have developed is housed in a stone 1810 building. A lot of people talk about development of ICT in schools as a risk taking. I, as a governor of this school and as a parent, don't see the development of an ICT program in, in a school as a risk because it's win-win. You know, risk to me brings up the thought of a chance of losing something and I think developing a good ICT program in a school is you, you're not standing to lose anything. The children that you're teaching are going to win.